of your house shot. And what you what your job is in this. In him. Alright? Okay. It says the flesh profited nothing. The flesh profits nothing. Right? Go ahead. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit, they are life. The words that Yahweh Shai speak unto us in the Bible, they are spirit and they are life. It gives us life, man. Right. And we live forever. I got you. I got you. I got you. Okay. Uh, with you. Okay. Well, it's one of one of them. 1 Corinthians chapter uh, 15, verse 54. Uh -huh. So when this corruptible shall I put on incorruption, and this mortal <coughs> and this mortal shall I put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written. Death is swallowed up in victory. Right, that's what I was saying. Oh death, where is thy sting? Right, the death of what? It isn't the death of the spirit? No. Because our spirit belongs to, to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, who's alive. And you can't kill him. He's yeah. pure energy. Our, our spirit is pure energy. So it's talking about the death of the flesh. Okay? Go ahead. That's right. It says, the sting of, of Slaki. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? Right, because after Yahweh Shai was crucified, right? What happened? He was crucified, he died. What happened? He came, he came back to life. That's why, that's why he's known as the only begotten, because he was the only one that the Heavenly Father himself rose from grave. Right, first one. First one. Yep. That the Heavenly Father. See, other people were raised from the grave, like case in point, uh, uh, um, Lazarus. La Lazarus, but going back into the Old Testament. Oh, Elijah, Elijah raised, raised the kid, the, the boy. Yep. Right. Elijah, the widow's son. Yeah. Elijah raised the widow's son, but it took Elijah to do it. See, Yah Yahweh raised Yah Yahweh Shai himself, put the spirit in him, boom, and rose up. It didn't take no, you know, Peter didn't go to the sepulchre and and rose him up. All right, um, John didn't go to the sepulchre to raise Yahweh Shai up. Neither was it the two angels that were on either side to raise. Uh, don't mind that. Those two angels that were on either side. They, they didn't raise, but it was Yahweh who raised up his own son, Yahweh Shai, hence the only begotten son. Right. If I may add, that's why the, that fulfilled prophecy. They said the Lord will not suffer thy holy one to see corruption. Okay, because that's why I said, oh, grave, where is thy victory? It's normally when, when a man dies, his, his body goes into the grave. Right. And eventually it, it rots and corrodes. But that didn't happen with the, with the body of Yahweh Shai. They don't have, here it is, they got all these different skulls, the skulls of Geronimo, they got the skulls of different so-called fallen generals and mummies and warriors, but they don't got the, the, the body of Yahweh Shai, the skulls are nothing like that. Right. All right, because why? The Lord resurrected them, like the, the prophet was saying, the Lord rose them up on the third day to fulfill prophecy. So that's why Grave didn't get the victory over Yahweh Shai. You see? So it says, oh God, where's thy spirit? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. All right, because when you when you break the commandments, the sting of death is what the penalty. Because you sin, sin is what the transgression of the laws of the Most High. So when you break the laws of the Most High, there's a penalty to pay. Right. So that's that sting. All right. If I can say this, as it is written, the uh, the soul that sinned, it shall die. That, that's written. Right. That's right. All right. But in Yahweh Shai, we, we don't hey, die. In Yahweh right. Shai, we don't sin. So there is no power of death within us. Now, right. brothers who pass, whatever, hey, look. They can, they, the ones who are allotted to come back, they will be, they, they, remember what you say, they will be the first to rise and to be in those chariots, man. That's right. So this ain't nothing, you know? All right? It's just merely, merely and uh, a vehicle for our spirits to be in and catch hell in and all that as a test, right? A test of our faith. Hey! Stand and show me joy with us! Yeah. This is Jude, verse 9. Yet Michael, the archangel, 
when contending with the devil. Because the other Amenadis I spoke about how they got that skull of Geronimo, the skull of this man, and, the, and, and, and you know, the skeleton of that man and stuff like that because Esau down into the uh, Illuminati and the Masons, they believe that they get power from these things. Right, right, digging up, yep. You know what I'm saying? Digging up the grave, and, uh, uh, ancient Pharaoh, King Tut's yeah. they believe they get power from this, man. So, what they doing? They're worshiping death. They're worshiping dead things. They, you know, necromancy, uh, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Alright, you know, Esau does that shit. Right? That's wickedness. Alright? Satanic shit, man. But our, our power is a, a lot, a living power. Able to raise up his, his people from the grave, man. Okay? It said, yet Michael, the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about his body amongst most Right, because they, they can't find it. Now, the other I'm saying that they, they want, they, they, had a, they got certain other people's bodies and stuff like yeah. that, but they can't find these, these men's bodies. You know why? Because Yahweh Basha and Yahushai took those bodies and materialized them. Alright? So that, that was that. That's why. You got a little bit more on that? I just want to bring up that point. Alright, now going back to the topic at hand, I have Go back to Ecclesiastes, uh... Hey! The people should take care and bring them to their All right, land. Go back to um, Ecclesiastes 1 and 9, and then what are those things that you got? I got some other scripts. I got, I got the group that are too. Okay, yeah, I'm going to bring that up. I got some other scripts. Okay, it's Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. The thing that have been is that which shall be. So that's the spirit that is in us. It shall be in the future. Okay? It die, your body dies, your spirit don't. Your spirit goes back to heavenly father. As it is written, it is appoint, appointed once for man to die, then the judgment. People read that all day and don't know what the hell that's talking about. You pass, your spirit goes back to heavenly father. Whether you did right, whether you did wrong, the judgment is put on you, you come back to live your life, man. If you're a wicked ass nigga in your past life, he gonna put you in a jacked up body. That's why it's written, man. Do not be afraid of man, or, or, or what man can do to your body. But fear him. How it goes, fear him. That can destroy body and soul in the hell part. Right, they can destroy, destroy both body and soul in hell. Then it down, down here. Because he can put you in a jacked up body, man. You know? Right, oh man, I gotta... I don't know if you got it. Just back up possibly you know what I'm saying. Possibly. Oh, it's like it. Uh, and before you bring that out, before you bring that out, right, yeah. quick point. Reincarnation means re back. In this means in. Incarnation means the flesh. What goes back in the flesh are spirit. But That's right. Now the food, like the brother said, when, when you die, you go to the spirit to the spirit world before the father and the judgment. And then you might come back uh, crippled or whatever. This is the book of John, chapter 9, verse 1. And as Yahweh Shai passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And the disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin? This man or his parents? So, how did he sin if he was blind since he was born? Because what? They knew that he was back before his past life. So that's why they asked him, they said, Master, who did sin? This man or his parents that he was born blind. Because why? Like the uh, apostle uh, said, elder apostle, one of the elders, he said, it, you know, apostle means sent the way, right? So, like he said though, when he went and got his judgment, he came back blind. But that wasn't the case with this man. Right, that wasn't the case. But no, normally, that's when, when you see somebody that's deformed or whatever the case is, they, they might have did something yeah, in the past, like right? now we done. Just to, uh, just to get the rest of the point, verse 3, it says, Yahweh Shai answered, Neither have this man sinned, nor his parents, but that the works of the Mosai should be made manifest in him. So in other words, he was born blind just for the sole purpose that Yahweh Shai could heal him, and, and, and that would just magnify the power of the Lord, magnify the name of the Lord. But, they, but the disciples back then, men were more spiritual and um, they knew about reincarnation back then. That's why the first thing they said, they said, look, who, that, who sinned? Was, did this man sin or was his parents sinning that he was born blind? Because remember, the, the Lord, uh, uh, when you got 
uh, children that's born through adultery. The scriptures talk hey! about that in the Bible, but I have a little bit of verse that, that offspring. Hey! Okay, so sometimes, like, you got incest baby, or you got a uh, wicked ass nigga might hey! commit an adultery against his neighbor's wife, and he got him pregnant, and the kid comes out retarded. That's the judgment of the Lord upon him. See? That's right, man. Um, Alright, read what you got. Alright. Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. 